Hi, and welcome to my first ever video training session. I'm Cody, and I'm coming from Tulsa, Oklahoma. This training session is on how to install the Apache web server on Windows 10. First, we have to install it, Apache. Apache is a web server, but it's software. So I go to a search field and I type in Apache download. Then I click on the first result that comes up, the download for Apache. You could also go to apache.org. So you can see the latest stable release is 2.4.18. And you want the binaries. So you click on binaries and you want to download from your nearest mirror site but it's actually a circle the, the, it's, it's kind of tricky so go to Windows 32 in the folder and then go down here to Apache Hoss and you, of course you can pause this video anytime you like so we have our downloads here we have 2.4.18 but then if you go down one step further you can see 2.4.18 x64 that's your 64 bit version of the web server download locations just download it from here it's a german mirror but that's irrelevant that's just the server it's coming from and you want to go ahead and open it now it comes in files it's not a simple installation like you might think if you wanted a, a simpler installation, you would just download the WAMP server, which has Apache, MySQL, the database server, then PHP that sits on top of Apache. And I plan on making uh, two more videos in this series. One uh, is on PHP, then the other is on MySQL, the database. Because I do this quite a bit. Uh, especially when you have to do upgrades or you just have fresh, in, fresh installations. So what I did here was copy all of these files that came with the download. You want to just copy them to a folder that makes sense, somewhere easy. Uh, I like to put it in the C drive. Sometimes I like to put it in the program files. But this makes it easy to reference. So Apache 2.4. I'll leave the period out just for simplicity. I, I paste the files in there. While, while that's doing that, I want to modify the environmental variables. So I right click on this PC then go to properties. Because I want to get to the system properties. However you do it, that's okay. Then I go to advanced system settings and I click on environment variables. And I want to modify the path. So I go to edit. I'll, obviously you could double click on that, that path uh, because you know my video here is geared towards technologically savvy people I guess you could say. So I'm not going into minute details on, on this video. So you want to e edit your environment variable for the path and you want to uh, make a new one and you want to paste or if you don't have it <laughs> you could you could also browse uh, and I, I made it this and you want to go to your binver uh, folder and okay that's it because the uh, the, the web server it has a daemon that it has to run in the background. It, it's basically a service in Windows. And of course Linux is totally different. I, I don't plan on making videos for Linux specifically, but if you request it, I certainly can do that. So now that we have our bin, let's just go ahead and open an admin prompt just just in case we need it 
and we go to HTTPD to make sure that it's is missing. Uh, we should be able to install it at least. Okay, MSVCR 110 is missing. Let's find out what that means. So yeah, so it's kind of like what I thought was the C++ there. Yeah, product of visual. Let me go ahead and uh, resolve this issue, then I'll come back. I'm just going to pause it right now. All right, I followed this link and I installed the visual C++, whatever it was wanting there. And uh, let's try it again. So basically, this is what we want. We want to do the hyphen K space install, and that is the command to install the daemon for for the web server because it's the service and we want it to start when our computer starts if you don't want that uh, if you only want to start it when you want to start it then you can uh, make the service manual so I'm pressing enter uh, let's see yeah there it goes okay so it's installing the service now and yes, we want to go ahead and allow access to it. Errors reported, must be corrected. Testing. Okay, well, let's try localhost. Uh, these search engines are weird about localhost. So uh, you'll, the first time at least, you'll have to put HTTP in that and then localhost. So it looks like there were errors, and we go to services, as you can see, and we go to the Apache, and we go to start. So this is the service it created. I don't know why there were errors, but you can see it works. This is the screen you get where it says it works. Uh, so this is it. This is your starting point uh, where you jump off of it, and you can create your website. Uh, obviously PHP isn't installed right now so it's not very dynamic uh, but it's very easy actually. So your index page here if you go and you open it in notepad uh, you will see the code. You want, oh, okay, let's go to more apps and go to Notepad. We open it, Notepad. So, this is your eight basic HTML. And you can see it, it updates when we say hi there. I, I just saved it. Let me save there. And you go to refresh. Then at the very bottom, you will see there it is. Hi there. So, we just create, we, we just installed the web server that's called Apache and it, it was kind of fairly simple but again like I say even though I have much experience doing this you you still run into problems and you just have to know how to fix them um, it, it could be very tricky obviously uh, feel free to message me contact me leave a comment in the YouTube video and uh, just Stay tuned for upcoming videos, basically installing PHP on top of Apache, uh, then installing the database server, which is MySQL. And uh, all of these packages are free. Uh, Apache is the open source. PHP, I believe, is open, open source. Uh, MySQL, they have a, a commercial versions as well as this version, which is also free. It is uh, open source, I believe. I mean, I would have to verify, but all right. So we we've, we've got you this far in Apache. Uh, I don't know what questions you may have, but that's it. Uh, I'm Cody uh, here in Tulsa, Oklahoma.
and uh, my my websites are geeksarehere.com. Also, I have techdistress.com um, that I haven't updated in a while, but is there.